Okay, so good day everyone. We have here your topic, uh, chapter 2 for your subject, Math 1, Mathematics in the Modern World at Garcia College of Technology. Okay, so chapter 2 is speaking mathematically. This is your topic, okay? So we have here the subtopic variables, which is 2.1, that is page 24 on your uh, Math 1 module. So this is page 24. Okay, so let's discuss variables. Okay, so in the function y equals to x squared, X is called the independent variable variable and Y is your dependent variable. Okay. A variable may be a, lead, a letter from A to Z. A variable may be denoted by a letter A to C or a symbol or a mathematical figure that is a variable. Okay. So variables can be denoted by big letter a or from z or small letters okay or symbols or other mathematical uh, symbols okay so that is variables say for example we have a given function <clears throat> in f of x f of x equals to 4x squared plus 2x minus 5, find, find f of 3a, question mark. Okay, so to solve or to find the function of 3a, we simply substitute 3a to our x or to our variable, to our independent variable to solve for the dependent variable. Okay? So, solution. Solution. So, f of x, copy. 4x squared is equal to 4x squared plus 2x minus 5. And we have f of 3a is equal to 4 times, substitute 3a to x. So we have 3a squared plus 2 times 3a plus a minus 5. Okay? And then, simplifying this uh, equation, so we have f of 3a is equals to 4 times 3a squared, and that is 9a squared plus three, uh, 2 times 3a, and then 6a minus 5. And then, Further simplification, so we have 4 times 9, and that is 36a squared plus 6a minus 5. So therefore, f of 3a is 36a squared plus 6a minus 5. So this is our final answer, okay? Next topic is <clears throat> writing sentences. Okay, so writing sentences 
writing sentences using variables. Okay? So this is check your progress one. <clears throat> okay? So use variables to rewrite the following sentences more formally. Okay? So in your check your progress one, letter A, page 25, okay? So this is page 25. You have there your check your progress one, okay? So this is check your progress one, okay? So letter A, are there numbers whose squares are smaller than the numbers themselves okay so let's rewrite this to a more formal sentence okay use variables to rewrite the following sentences more formally so solution of course if the statement is a question then your answer will end up to a question mark, okay? The solution, okay? The number one. So we use a variable, okay? Are there numbers, okay? So numbers. So we use a variable n to uh, denote these numbers, okay? So n numbers, okay? So numbers. Our variable is n. We use n. Okay. Then rewriting uh, a statement letter A. So we have. Okay. So let's rewrite. Are there? Okay. So are there numbers n? which is our variable are there are there numbers n whose squares are smaller smaller than the numbers n numbers n themselves themselves question mark so this is the first sense of a first um, statement that we use the variable n to denote that number. Next, number two, another uh, statement. Okay. Do there exist? Any numbers, numbers n such that, okay, so another statement, such that, which is also equivalent to statement number one, okay, so the, do there exist any numbers n such that Numbers whose squares are smaller than the numbers themselves. So meaning, n, the numbers itself, is greater than its square. So, do there exist any numbers n such that, okay, such that n is greater than n squared? Question mark. Okay. 
So, statement number two is, do there exist any numbers n such that n is greater than n squared? Since statement letter A, are there numbers whose squares are smaller than the numbers itself? So, meaning, the square of this number is n squared and n squared must be smaller than n. Okay? So, n squared is smaller than n. So, meaning n is greater than n squared. So, there, this statement number 2 uh, justify the statement letter A. Okay? So, these are, this topic is writing sentences using variables or writing sentences using variables. Use variables to rewrite the following sentences more formally okay so meaning we already use the variable n which is uh, which justify the statement letter a or uh, state uh, statement number one statement number two is a also equivalent to statement or our given statement okay so statement letter a is also equal to statement number one and also equal to our statement number two. Okay? So, I hope you understand the discussion through this uh, video and God bless us all. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel.